Hello, I'm Daryl Breen. Happy Christmas and welcome to a special festive edition of Mock the Week. We'll be talking about the holidays as well as looking back at some of our favourite moments from the last series, along with bonus bits we've never shown before. Hope you enjoy them. We start with a round call. If this is the answer, what is the question on the board of six mm. categories? Fred, which category would you like? Uh, world News, please, Nana. OK, your category is World News. The answer is... One fifth. What's the question? Is this what fraction of the Jackson Five might miss the Christmas party? <laughs> <laughs> Is it how much of the weekend can Andrew Flintoff remember? <laughs> Is it how much of French and Saunders? Is Saunders? <laughs> Is it what proportion of Enid Blyton's The Famous Five can lick their own testicles? <laughs> Is it England's fashion? only dwarf king was called Henry the what? <laughs> <laughs> How much of a Boris Johnson speech is not, hmm, well, <laughs> I say, <laughs> yes. Is it, is it, how does Jamie Oliver pronounce one fish? <laughs> <laughs> Is it how much of Wikipedia is true? <laughs> I'll tell you, on, on that... Actually, I won't mention that on telly. Um... <laughs> what does it say about oh, you? Go on, what does it say about you? No, go on. It go on. says, somebody's written, uh, I was once kicked out of a zoo for punching a monkey, and then <laughs> yeah. somebody underneath has put correction, he spanked the monkey. <laughs> That's I didn't That's do either. Hard. Didn't do either. I, I do, I, under, in, in my bit on a trivia about me, yeah. it says, uh, I, once, I once aided the RSPCA in saving a goose from a tile shop. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, don't, I don't remember What's the event. The it's incredibly specific. <laughs> What's the point of Wikipedia if people just write it themselves? I think every Wikipedia entry should have to start with, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Do you know what? On the balance Somebody else. I've yeah. just remembered right. another. This is a creepy thing that somebody put on my Wikipedia. They said of me, he looks like the kind of straight bloke that would be quite good at gay sex. I'll be honest, when I read that, I did go get in. But <laughs> <laughs> he went on to say, but he looks like he'd cry afterwards. <laughs> so, um, so there's part of me now that wants to find a gay man to see, to test the theory. So if there's any out there, bring it. I suspect <laughs> there will be a few out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably about one fifth. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what honour was the actor Nicholas Cage given this year? Our Nicholas uh -huh. Cage, right? He's he's actually <laughs> going to be able to turn the Christmas lights on <clears throat> in Bath. This, by the way, aren't the lights in Bath. They <laughs> say. Apparently, what happened? Those was are the lights in Dundee. Some, somebody, <laughs> somebody actually put a note through his door. He's got a house in Bath, and he's agreed to turn on the lights. I put a note through Cheryl Cole's door, and apparently that's a matter for the police. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's well, really weird about this not story? Not only is it incredible that they've got Nicholas Cage to do it, but also there must have been an incredibly uneasy phone call to Barry Chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, Barry, Nicholas Cage is doing it. Well, <laughs> yeah. Maybe they honest. gave him a part in an action movie where he knocks out Vim Diesel by turning round quickly with a plank. <laughs> Do you know what's really awkward about this story? This is genuinely true. Until last week, I was doing it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really. So, um, so I was there. I was there. Yeah. And then from nowhere, Cage has just jumped. It's <laughs> funny. funny. All my relatives like, do you want us to sort him out? No, I don't want you to sort him out. Because we'll go around there and mess him up. Don't there. mess him up. Because you, you were originally up for the part in Face Off as well, weren't you? I was. <laughs> Like, like, and what's really funny about it is that the lady that posted the letter through the door is the exact lady that went, oh, we'd love you to do it, you'd be great. And then I read in the paper without even telling me, the big Nicholas, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, about ten years ago, I switched on the Christmas lights in Kidderminster. Wow. And, uh, because I've been rude. <laughs> <laughs> you was on you do yeah. be, there are Christmas lights yeah, in Kidderminster. Yeah, Weren't you asked we, to do this? Yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> We had Bruce Willis! <laughs> We've been rude about Kidderminster on television. Got a letter from the Kidderminster Tourist Board yeah. or whatever saying, would you come and switch on the Christmas lights? So you think, oh, that'd be great, I'd love to do that. But you don't actually do it. Because what they do is they give you one of those enormous pretend switches 
right? And you have to kind of go like this on a balcony to a crowd below, and you kind of go, oh, we're going to press the thing now. And you press it, and as you press it, a bloke in a room behind <laughs> turns on a switch. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not doing it. So that, hang on a minute, so that, that bloke's going to be me. I'm yeah. going to be the guy. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> right. So you were asked to do it because you were rude about Because I was rude about Kidderminster. I also did a joke once about Wolverhampton and got invited on a tour of Wolverhampton. I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm thinking big enough. If I slag off Jessica Alba, do I get a tour of Jessica Alba? Uh, <laughs> well, apparently, apparently Bristol wanted to have Bruce Willis switching on their lights, but then they remembered that he tends to get into a lot of trouble around Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Our next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask Hugh to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features Gordon Brown. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, happy Christmas, everybody. Uh, <laughs> just making sure everything's ready for the event tonight. Uh, where am I sitting? That's it. Just here. No decorations, I see. That's good. I'm Scottish. I don't do joy. So, uh, <laughs> sitting in the middle here. That's right. Right next to the President of the United States. He's uh, specially requested he sit next to me. So, uh, if you, if, when uh, a barber comes in, if you could just make sure that he uh, sits in that chair. Super glue him if you have to. That's, uh, <laughs> that's good. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, I was meant to be sitting next to President Obama. I come in, somebody switched all the nameplates on, and now he's sitting next to that great fat Scottish guy with a hairy arse. It, uh, completely, that is completely, it's completely unbelievable. Uh, testing. Uh, one, two. Uh, one, one, two, one, two. What, anybody know what number comes next? No, uh, no wonder the economy is in shite. So. so, what would you like from the menu? Uh, I have a thousand burritos, two thousand nachos, and a pint of Tammy Flo, please. Thank you. So, uh, let's get on with the main event. Uh, let's get on with the first round of this, the annual G20 Leaders Christmas Quiz. Uh, <laughs> question set by Great Britain. In front of you, you should find a picture round and uh, uh, an anagram round. But uh, to get things going, we'll do world news. <laughs> so, on uh, Boxing Day 1994, who did Rith Rovers beat? <laughs> three goals to two at Starks Park. So, uh, three goals to two, Starks Park. Nice. Easy one to start them off there. In the meantime, I think I'll just have a quick look round, see if anybody's written any more interesting speeches than I have. I have to think <laughs> practically everybody. So, uh... That's unbelievable. I just get off for a piss. <laughs> I'm going to Barney's nick my bloody seat again. I don't know what's going on. Uh, good news. I've just told Manchester City to bid 300 million for Bobby Charlton. <laughs> yes, Mr Putin, he did what? They voted for Norway in Eurovision. Leave it with me. <laughs> Kill him. Hey, Obama, when you come to Australia, don't think you're going to play with my didgeridoo. <laughs> so, um, go on, go on, Brian, tell him the joke. Go on, he would love to hear a joke. He, lo he loves jokes. OK, Obama, come here. Yes, <laughs> you love I got this from a Christmas cracker. What happens when you eat Christmas decorations? Huh? You get tinselitis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. He nicked my bloody toe. I don't know. I was sitting there, he just come on, he nicked my bloody toe. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, so that's the first round done. Uh, now to the second round. This should be slightly easier. Uh, economic news. Uh, uh, which Scotsman uh, was single-handedly responsible for saving the world economic uh, system? <laughs> so which Scotsman saved the world <laughs> economic? Nice easy question there. I think we'll get uh, full marks for that one. That's, uh... Incidentally, uh, uh, Barack, I don't know what you're doing at Christmas, but you're quite welcome to join us at Oxford Box Day. We'll be doing charades, drinking lots of whiskey, and best of all, I'll be there. So. <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> I, I, I think I left Carla chained to the bed. I have to go and get her. <sighs> what am I doing in this footage? <laughs> so, uh, Gordon Brown, what a great guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. That's, uh, that's my bit done. Uh, could you get me out of here? Gordon is so dull. It says on this, uh, on this bit of paper I'm meant to be sitting next to an Indonesian guy. What happened to him? Uh, so, that's the end of uh, uh, round uh, uh, two. Now we come on to the famous uh, picture round. In front of you, you'll find pictures of eight Scottish Episcopalian cathedrals. <laughs> I'd like you to put those in the correct geographical order, north to south. In the meantime, I'm going to go through the rounds, uh, the scores of the previous rounds, and some very funny team names you've come up with, of course. Uh, Putin, Polonium, uh, currently on <laughs> two points. Sarkozy, so easy. <laughs> Number five. Nicola normally likes to score more than that. Leading at the moment, Ted. Uh, Great Britain and their team, Gordon, must go. But to leave you, I'm going to tell you a, a Christmas joke. Why did Santa have to close his toy factory? <laughs> Elf and safety. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, God. So, what are you doing for the Christmas? <laughs> <laughs>
I remember years ago, getting up really early Christmas morning, running downstairs, ripping open one of my presents, but unfortunately it was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. It was a kitten. <laughs> That's not true. It was an old man. I remember all I wanted for Christmas was an action man. What I got was a plastic doll with a cord on the back and you pulled it, went 25, 25, 25, 30, 35, 35, 35, 40. <laughs> Looked at the packet, auction man. <laughs> I don't know about you, I often feel like Joseph at the inn in Bethlehem, holding a crib of straw and saying, no, I wanted to see the manager. <laughs> Peaceful Christmas, I remember. In manger. <laughs> I think the most peaceful Christmas I remember was when my mother mistakenly covered the cake with tomazepam. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Christmas quiz! Yay! People now come specially for the Christmas quiz to look at our fabulous oh, decorations. Nice. Oh, <laughs> He's got this thing, which I think is actually sort of ah ah sweet, and then for no particular reason, a squirrel, a squirrel <laughs> with tinsel on him, which is not in any way. And Donald Trump's hair at the back. <laughs> and then this, a genuine, you can purchase this, which is a glistening owl with um, antlers on. <laughs> You know, you can just cost like four pounds fifty or something in, in a shop. Is this your audition shop. for QVC? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so that's you know, hey, hey, hey. Okay, here's a Christmas quiz, right? Uh, in which there'll be quizzes and questions. Um, what makes the traditional British Christmas dinner um, unique? Turkey what? sprouts. No. What is, is it, what is it about it that actually? Racism. No, not unique. It's an, an achievement. Not racism. <laughs> <laughs> Every question. <laughs> so, what makes a British uh, Christmas dinner outstanding? Why did you ask it again without mumbling? <laughs> I'm sorry. Remember, my, fa my face is full of your shitty lemon meringue. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, it's nom, quite, nom, it is nom. quite tart. It will. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it didn't fall apart. Bravo. Uh... <laughs> okay. Why is the British Christmas dinner outstanding? Is it considered the unhealthiest or something? Uh, very it, close, it most, yeah, it is. It is the most fatty. Uh, it is the unhealthiest in Europe. A typical Christmas dinner in this country contains 3,289 calories, wow. 70 grams of fat, 210 grams of carbohydrates, the second most calorific Christmas dinner in the world. Who's the most calorific? Take a wild fucking guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, put him down, Camilla. I'm sorry, she's insatiable. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm, uh, I'm meant to give you this. I, I don't know why. I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. This is lovely. <laughs> this is like a lovely Christmas present. Goodness, my, my voice is even lower than normal. I wonder if they have any strepsils. Uh, by the way, I, I have already paid for this. I'm not uh, walking off with it. Oh, for goodness sake, Camilla, put them down. It's a compulsion. We haven't got any money. <laughs> Oh, no, no, please, if you could just pop them in the bag, that would be lovely. Thank you so much. Lovely, thank you. Um, just a, a quick word in your shell, like, Your Royal Highness. That is, in fact, the fourth carrier bag your wife has filled with <laughs> Christmas goodies. So far, she hasn't paid us for, uh, for any of them. It's just it's a charity event. Uh, well, don't worry, I'll just write you a, a pretend IOU. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I normally prefer to play the uh, way I handle my relationship with my mother. Contactless. <laughs> uh, it, you take your hat off and you bow. That's what you do. <laughs> hat off, bow. It may be Christmas, but uh, I'm still the Prince of Wales. Yes. Oh, look at these. Isn't that... could, would you give me a small furry aviator? Could, could I have one, please? No. Miserable wanker. <laughs> Hello, Camilla. We've got all the uh, goods you asked us to obtain for you. Uh, that's lovely. Are they all here? Oh, what a lovely puppy. Could I have the puppy? <laughs> Look at these dogs. What lovely dogs. Could I have the dogs? <laughs> well done, you did it! <laughs> uh, 
Um, what do you want for Christmas this year? I don't know. I don't want anything for Christmas. Hand drop off, a, off an elf. <laughs> <laughs> you gift, what, the number one gift apparently for kids this year? Nerf. Nerf, Nerf guns. The Nerf, the Nerf gun, gun the is Nerf 64 gun. quid. The new, you could go to America and buy a gun for less than that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's like it's a ludicrously scary thing, the Nerf gun. This is oh, the no. current... Hey, don't point that there. Yeah. Hey, point that over no, no, somewhere else. I promise I'll be really, really careful. I wouldn't dream of doing that to you. Of all the people here, you were the last person that I would fire the... <laughs> Boom! Um, hang on. Oh, yeah, there's, there's three things you can do, right? You can do this big one here. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Listen, can... Nerf is how I did this to my eyes. So <laughs> I'm just saying... I'm just warning you. Okay, cool. I'll get him instead. Right, okay, Grant. Are we okay to sacrifice you for this? And then you can do these. I guess so. I bet you could catch one of your teeth. There's an instruction manual that says, do not aim at people's faces. Yeah, yeah, Please remember that I am a special man with special powers, and do not try this at home. How far will it get? How far do you think it will get? I don't know, but if he hits any of you, sue the shit. Money they're saving on Bake Off now can go to you. <laughs> <laughs> can you get to the back? I mean, because this there. is... It, I feel it can be unnecessarily powerful, this thing. Yeah. Right, OK, so, like, the size yes, of the I'd back. certainly feel that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh now. Nah. Nice. Good catch. Well done. Respect. Yeah. That is... That is, I'm estimating, seven gardens away. <laughs> <laughs> so you asked... What do you want for Christmas so you could then shoot us? <laughs> <laughs> he's, still got, he's still got the up with me, James, because he got heckled in Derby because uh, oh, they okay. wouldn't shake his hands. I, did, I always shake people's hands after the show, and in Derby, I was there the week before and shook everyone's hand, and then someone walked out of his show and went, at least Rob Beckett shook our hand. <laughs> happened. Can you believe it? He shakes people's hands on the way out the door like a little kiss ass. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what most of us do, right? We do our stand-up and then we go, that'll be enough. And we go back, because that's our job. And Rob goes, no, please light me at the door. <laughs> 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 I just felt before they came, James. And to be fair, like, you know, it, it's only four people you've got to shake, so you just... <laughs> Listen, here's what's annoying about it, right? I got heckled with this thing. Well, <laughs> Rob Beckett should go hands What else did they say? <laughs> what else did they, James, what else did they say? And he had proper jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so then, I was like, right. For a joke, then at the end, I said good night, and then I legged it downstairs to the door, and I shook all their hands on the way. I was like, however, yeah, four of them, but like, <laughs> shaking all of their hands. And when the last one went out, and it was clearly a joke that I was doing to make fun of Rob, and the last one went out, and the venue manager came up to me and went, "Thanks for doing that. It really means a lot to him." And people take the time to shake their hands. I was like, "That was a joke." <laughs> I'm just, not Beckett. Yeah, but the thing is, let's be honest, I didn't have many other options open to me career-wise, so I'm just very thankful they turn up. <laughs> Genuinely, because without them, I would probably be on the street. Yeah. At the end of my shows, I say, I've been James Lacaster, and I could have been anything. And I walk <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to be given clothes as a Christmas present in Iceland? Because it's, it's really cold. 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 It's just freezing there. <laughs> Dara. Is it because you can take them back and get the money back in exchange for the clothes? No, oh. it's not that perfectly <laughs> practical really good, good reason to get clothes. Because yeah. yeah, clothes is just a good present wherever you are. Oh, God, yes, I know. OK, the question... <laughs> what people don't have I'm sorry, clothes? are you getting exasperated at us trying to think of hubris <laughs> answers <laughs> to ridiculous questions that you're posing? Should we just try our hardest to come up with the correct answer? <laughs> Would that slightly miss the point of a comedy quiz? <laughs> Is it no. Is it because normally they sell frozen food? <laughs> <laughs> the reason you should be even closed as a Christmas present is to stop you getting eaten by the Yule Cat. Yule... Yule... Kutterin. I wonder why you didn't get the QI presented. <laughs> There's got to be one show you don't present, doesn't there? Has to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What might you expect to eat at Christmas in Japan? Food. Yes. Sushi. <laughs> no. Sashimi. No. Don't just name all Japanese things you can think of. <laughs> Wagamamas. No. <laughs> <laughs> a 
bucket of... Eels. No. Turkey. That's not no. a clue. Bu- it's a really good clue. A bucket fried chicken. Of fried chicken. Is it fried right. chicken? It's fried chicken, Nish. <laughs> not just any fried chicken. Kentucky fried Kentucky chicken. Kentucky fried chicken. Since 1974, KFC has marketed itself in Japan no. as a Christmas food. Oh, very clever. With the advertising phrase, Kentucky for Christmas. That's not... I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas. A lot of things to hear at Christmas. <laughs> oh, John, thank you so much for my electric toothbrush. No, <laughs> it's everything I wanted and more. Oh, you've got lots of nectar points on it. Good. <laughs> the, uh, do the uh, fork and take a pew. <laughs> This might run for a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sarah, a holiday to Barbados? That's going to help in the fight against plaque. <laughs> it's Christmas. Today? Are you sure? <laughs> the shops have kept that very quiet. <laughs> ah. Oh, look, everyone's eating all the nuts I've bought. I should buy some more. (laughs) 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 Leg or breast? I'd really rather you just put your clothes back on, (laughs) Greg. I'd just like to reassure everyone that the sponsorship deal will have no effect on this year's nativity. Now, Joseph, if you could just pop Jesus in the Pretter manger. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Mmm, Christmas with a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> this is your Christmas and birthday present. Yes, it is a turkey with 16 candles stuck in it. <laughs> We always have a goose here at Christmas. I don't know why, really. It's conversation's terrible and it shits all over the floor. (laughs) 